I'm your biggest fan, I'll follow you until you love me, Papa. Papa, Pieces. Lay them all out. Check out these bad boys. Plastic. Plastic CV spaces. I don't trust that. But anyway, apparently that's a thing. This is plastic. This goes. In here. What do you reckon, Joss? Flash, man. Yeah, I don't trust it. <laughs> 3D printed finest. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, pulled some more apart from last time we saw. It's all dirty and heavy. Oh, we'll get there. So we're getting serious now, diff's out. Down, please. Nearly. Saxon's operating the jack. There we go. Look at that. Easy, easy. Joss is doing all the technical stuff. Mostly just the gags. And the strongman stuff. Beautiful. There we go. Two wheel drive. It's, it's cut some chassis. Yeah, now we've got to cut some chassis. This is trying to be quite the job. Cut that off and weld the bracket in there with a new diff mount. Right. Oh, get me bloody head. What stage are we up to, Joss? Uh, 30. 41. 41. Put that diff mount in there, cut the old bracket off there. This is not the most uh, tutorial video. Got these on here for Silverado tips. And the new cross member there. And then we can put the diff back in. We've welded that up. New diff bracket there. Much more in depth than what I thought it was going to be. We're going to get to locate hardware pack 576. 576. On update number 41. Bolts. I'll give them one thing the kit's very conclusive. Are pretty mm, it's good. You don't know where they go yet. So there we go. Diff drop is in. Control arm drop is done. I don't know if that's what you call it. That's what we'll call it. Just putting the uh, bump stops. We need new bump stops, but I didn't order them. So we'll get those later. There you go. Nice little neat kit, I reckon. Goes together really easy. Everything fits where it's supposed to. The diff uh, brace is pretty cool. Just is going through the bolt. So far they're on the right side. Pack 577 this time. We don't know where these go. Let's figure that out. What's next? I think. Look out. Silver is going to be jacked. So here we go. This is the next bit. We've got the braces in there. They're pretty cool. And these bits are really cool. There's the, the factory knuckle. You got these behemoth things here. Monster. So that should, uh, it's gonna get a bit hot. The strength is coming along. It's a bit of a job. So we're still going on the truck. Um, a bit further along now, starting to get back together. 
Um, I really should have ordered a ball joint kit, so I'm gonna have to order that. And unfortunately, double handle and change again. You saw a lot already, so I'm just gonna start putting the other side, this knuckle in. These are pretty cool, as you said yesterday. Um, now, why I chose this kit, the, all the, uh, I didn't really wanna go this big, um, but the, the two inch, the three inch, if they do a four but they're all the lower kits are just a um usually a set of keys so that's a key yeah no torsion bars and that goes on the end of that torsion bar and this allows you to wind the torsion bar up more which pushes this down more but the problem is the the front ends of these trucks are a bit flimsy for the weight of them um, it cranks the, the arms down and then all the ball joints run at funky angles, which is why mine are all a bit tired because I've been driving around with the torsion bars wound up. Um, so this kit actually is a new replacement front end that drops it down. Um, and yeah, it's six inches in there, but you can lower it back on the, the torsion bar a little bit. So hopefully I can just achieve about four inches. Um, as it stands, it's a monster. But there's a lot of geometry correction, uh, geometry correct, correction. Excuse me, fumbling um, in it, as you can see. They move that across and things like that to to help it out. And they get a lot of good reviews that the trucks drive heaps better and yeah, a lot better in the front end. So a lot more sure footed. So hopefully everything is a lot bulkier than what's come out of there. So hopefully that, um, yeah, hopefully that is much nicer to drive it's not too high um we'll see how we go so i'll keep chipping away it's a big job i don't really like this dirty crappy sort of work but someone's got to do it so here we go so we're all in done just got to um adjust the tire ends probably put new ones in actually but i'll just adjust them for now so i can test drive it uh, and then we're going to order some steering wheel joints and tie rod ends and stuff. There's our wheels. Wait to get outside, but it's a monster. Uh, adjust all that and we'll be ready to go. Can't wait to get it on the ground, set it on its feet, see what the stance is like. And um, see what, what height we'll adjust the rear to. Check out the drive shaft. It is a monster. Diff's massive too, so it's hard to keep it in comparison. But yeah, let's get it on the ground and see how it sits. Take it for a drive, see how it drives. It's big. Follow white rabbit. I'm taking potions, call me Alice. Watch me grow taller. Yeah. Here we go, ready to start Australia Day. There's Damo doing tilty boys up the window. Happy straight day, Damo. Hey! Got the boat on. It's a bit dirty. Loaded, locked, ready, let's freaking go. Here we are, wave break island.
some kind of bowlers club over there playing awesome array of music. This is Chevy Dog. Hey Chevy. We're in the warning jet blast zone. It's like Area 51. Here's Damo getting ready to get blasted. Oh, it's a full moon. No! No brown eye jokes. Oh, Here we go, Damo. It's happening. I don't think it's a big plane. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah! <laughs> How was that, Damo?